What is up guys? Welcome back to Wrench Avengers. Today I've got a treat a special. It's not special. It's not special. That sounded kind of like more leprechaun. -y. Not only am I standing up, but today we're actually going to be making Eleanor, my 97 Honda Civic, actually fast. Alright, let's start this off by getting the bumper off and some other things out of the way. Today we're going to be changing out the turbo and the exhaust manifold. Along with that, we're going to change the intake manifold and also got new charge piping and intercooler to go with it. Now that we have the charge piping and intercooler out of the way, it's time to get serious taking off that turbo. I'm oh good, this one's already loose. Cool. Now that the turbo's off, let's go ahead and get the stock D16Y8 intake manifold off and we'll switch over the fuel rail and all that stuff uh, over to the new, uh, or new to me, Junk 2 intake manifold and we got a new, again new to me, 70 millimeter Junk 2 throttle body. Then we went ahead and installed the intake manifold off camera. Okay. So this is the turbo kit that is going to go on Eleanor. It was originally purchased for Big Red back there. And this is the first time we've ever opened it, so. This is a Go Auto Works kit. I don't remember which one. Ramhorn manifold. Tile wastegate ball valve and Cybernetics uh, 6060. I don't know, do you remember? No. I don't remember. I don't remember. I've had it for like two years. I don't remember what size turbo it is. This is misleading. So. Let's And the blow-off valve is also flat. And over here, we have... Oh, we got it! Baby. Oh, ooh. Shit! I think it's, is that a recluse? Mm-hmm. I think so. I think they're both are. You're dead, you bitch! <laughs> Apparently I had a mouse in here. <laughs> <laughs> the hell you say? What makes you think that? <laughs> he's dead, dead. Well, he's supposed to have a banjo on his back and I can't see it. Well, I think he's one that the brown recluses ate. No. Oh. The brown recluses eat other spiders. Do they? Yep. Small rodents, you know. <laughs> I got <laughs> just all the children. <laughs> Now that we got this stuff out of the box, it's time to go ahead and start installing all these bits, starting with this sexy ass turbo. So 
So the next thing to do on our list is get this intercooler and charge piping mounted. Uh, we messed with that for a little while and then finally realized there's no way to get this intercooler on uh, unless we take the bumper bar off. There, that should be enough room. So the last thing we did this night was go ahead and build some brackets for the intercooler itself to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, I got something I wanna show you guys. I don't think the intercooler is going anywhere. So even with the intercooler mounted, we still struggled to get the charge piping to fit, mostly due to the Junk 2 intake manifold. Uh, I have really no doubt in my mind that if I would have kept the stock Y8 intake manifold on there, everything would have fit with no problems at all. So we really just had to make a extra 45 degree angle to give it a little bit more space. But before we were able to do that, I went ahead and let it sit for a little bit and went ahead and worked on the PLX wideband install. Got the gauge in the pod. And there's our signal wire. I'm just gonna tape him up to our previous signal wire. So he's way back, he's back in here, right here, okay, and we'll just see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Okay, just routed him right through this hole. Plenty of length on them. And we don't need this one anymore. And then this gray one is ran down to the ECU. We'll need him for a wide band. I think this hole here should be wide band. Okay, getting finished up here. Everything plugged in, aside from the power lead. I'll just get plugged in there. First, I'm gonna test some other stuff, just to be sure. Got our uh, gauge. Okay, got our gauge ready to go. Now, thing about PLX is they do not supply any kind of mounting hardware. You can see how thin it is. It does have some pressure a little bit to hold it, but uh, I think we'll have a better solution than just that. According to some of the reviews on Amazon, uh, PLX told them, oh yeah, just, just, you know, put the wires in tightly and that'll help hold it. Just, just pull the wires tight and that'll hold it in. Like, that's a solution. I normally put them in at a bit of an angle, but I'm not going to in this time, I don't think. Okay, so we'll take that. And we're going to use the king mother of craft supplies to hold it in. Hot glue.
since this backside is pretty slick, I'm going to try to get a lot of surface area of hot glue. Except I'm running out of glue. I'll be back. I think we're good. Okay, so after forgetting to run the signal wire, I have the O2 sensor unplugged just so I can test. Ran the signal wire uh, over to the gauge. Uh, everything else is plugged in and ready to go. The instructions for this, to be honest, are mostly pictures. Very few words that make sense to me. So, anyway, let's try to power them on. Okay, wide band's plugged in now. Let's give him a shot now. So I'm gonna expect it to go lean here shortly. There he goes. Lean! Lean as a motherfucker! Lean! Air! Okay, so, uh, according to the instructions that I can see, that should be accurate. Just so you know, this is what it, the instructions look like. It's just like, eh, do this. I did like four things wrong and realized it later. Didn't really, not really good instructions. But I'll read through this, make sure I can utilize the thing properly. But with that, I think we're good to go. Okay, so now that the wideband is installed, uh, what we've got done so far is new intake manifold. We got the turbo on. We got the charge piping and uh, intercooler on. And I think that's going to be pretty much it for today. Uh, hopefully I got just enough done to give you a little bit of blue balls. Uh, have you come back next week. I'll try to make it early. Hopefully, like, before Wednesday. Um, we'll have the next video out. Uh, we're going to put in the new camshaft. And then we're going to pretty much tune it and drive it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, consider subscribing so you don't miss anything. Consider checking out my Instagram for a little bit more content. Uh, so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Hey, Bindu. Hello. Hey, everybody. I'm Barney. <laughs>